I'm going to talk about why I love selling income producing mobile home parks coming up. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, brokers, and investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. Several years back, I was working with an investor looking for income producing real estate. He turned me on to a couple mobile home parks and we eventually closed on one of them. From that point on, I had a high interest in mobile home parks. Selling mobile home parks can be an incredible niche for your real estate business. But there are a handful of things that you need to know before diving in about mobile home parks. So there are really two types of mobile home parks. You got the ones where it's called lot rent. That's when the tenant actually owns the structure and they rent from the landlord the land beneath them. Now in this case, the landlord doesn't have any of the headaches of dealing with the structures. So the structures are maintained by the tenants, that is their structure, they actually own the structure, and the landlord is basically just collecting rent for them squatting on their land. Traditionally, lot rent mobile home parks don't provide as big of a yield um, but at the same time, they really don't have any of the headaches as opposed to the second type. And the second type is park owned. Park owned means the owner of the mobile home park actually owns the structures and then rents the structures obviously with the land to a tenant. The tenant doesn't own the structure, so the landlord is responsible for all the maintenance issues and everything associated with the actual structure itself. This provides usually a higher return on investment, but there's a lot more headaches associated with it. And some parks actually have a combination of both. What I found in my experience is a lot of investors really want one or the other. Many want the, the higher returns by owning the structures, the rents are gonna be higher. Um, and then the, the other aspect is the guys that own just the lots and, and don't own the structures. Um, if they accumulate a property that has a handful of structures that are owned by the park, they're usually quick to get rid of those and they'll, they'll offer seller financing on those units for somebody to come in, buy, and then just basically rent the land. Another reason why investors like mobile home parks is uh, in some cases there tends to be a higher and best use for that property now and or in the future. Um, I was actually working with another client and he we didn't sell this park but he wound up acquiring this park for about 400000 It was on the intercoastal over on the east coast of Florida and uh, him and his grandfather owned it and they actually wound up selling it for about two and a half million and this is only about three or four years later so they made a great return on investment with really without putting any work into it. Um, they ended up selling that park, that property to a developer who wound up actually building um, some, I believe it was uh, townhomes. Also, mobile home parks tend to have lower expenses uh, comparably speaking to other properties like uh, strip malls or apartment complexes. Um, and the reason being is there's really no fixed structures except for maybe a clubhouse and some other outbuildings on these properties which would cause the, the taxes and insurance to be higher. So again, uh, you know, the, the, the overall expenses associated with mobile home parks is a lot less for income producing real estate. Now one thing about selling mobile home parks as a real estate agent is, and like any other cash flow product out there, is it's, it's not emotional. You know, you're not dealing with uh, people that are buying, say, a single family home for their family and God forbid the paint inside is off or the, there's no granite countertops or whatever the case is. So you don't really have to deal with the emotions associated with people living in the property. A lot of these investors, they're savvy. They're looking at the cash flow. They're looking at income expenses. They're also looking at how they can increase revenue as well in the park, do some fixing up, add you know some other amenities and so forth so you're dealing with more savvy investors and and again it's really non-emotional transactions so after i sold that first mobile home park i you know as mentioned i had a high level of interest i made a good commission check on it and it was it was fairly easy at the end of the day besides uh, gathering all the in information that we needed from the prior owner tax returns and uh, bank statements. We had to verify all the income and expenses and work with the buyer's accountant to make sure everything was on par. But um, my uh, my interests were peaked and I was like, you know, I'm going to go after this. So what we did was we utilized that sale. It was about a million dollar uh, mobile home park that we sold. And we utilized that sale to kind of catapult us in our marketing. So we, uh, we started with a mail campaign in about three counties in Florida mailed all uh, other uh, mobile home park owners 
and uh, just stated that we just sold a mobile home park and we have active buyers looking, uh, which at the time I did have two. And um, if they were interested in selling, to reach out to us and we would uh, set an appointment to meet with them. As time progressed, we were listing and selling more mobile home parks. Um, so we expanded out our, our territory. Our three counties here was not a huge market for mobile home parks. So we wanted to expand out. Um, so eventually we got into about 11 or 12 counties that were target marketing and mailing and, and so forth. Um, the, the issue that came about was traveling. You know, it, you know, a lot of places were three, four, five, seven hours away that I would have to drive to for listing appointments. So what we did was we would get on the phones, we would cold call all the mobile home park owners in those areas around that park that I was going for for the listing appointment. And I was trying to set up additional listing appointments in those areas to kind of um, you know, be more effective and efficient with my time trying to get multiple parks listed at one time. Um, also, when I was there, if we were unsuccessful on the phones, and in many cases we, we were unsuccessful in getting in contact with a lot of uh, mobile home park owners, um, I, I would go around to those surrounding parks I would do some recon mission, get into the parks, see if there's any managers around. And sometimes the managers were owners. Um, so that it was great. I was able to basically introduce myself, tell them what I was all about. Um, and then the, um, some managers, you know, the goal is to try to get the contact information for the owners as well. I'd say about half the time they would uh, give us the contact information for the owners. And uh, the other half, I'd have to just leave my contact information with them. Whenever we were basically door knocking or getting these uh, owners of mobile home parks on the phone, first thing I would do is, is tell them that we just listed a property over in this area and I know that you own mobile home parks in the state of Florida. Do you have any other interest in building your portfolio or buying more mobile home parks? And it was twofold. So if they said yes, then obviously I would uh, send them that property, try to set appointments to go and preview our inventory and or other inventory out there. And if they said no, that they were not interested in buying more, um, I would ask if they had interest in selling their parks. So I would always take a, uh, advantage of the opportunity when I had them on the phone or even face to face, um, whether it's gonna be a buyer or a sell position with these people. Bottom line, mobile home parks are a great investment if you're an investor. Um, I highly suggest you checking them out. Check out the income, income and expenses and how they relate to other income producing properties. And also if you're a real estate agent, I highly encourage you to check out this niche focus. Um, if, if you're in an area that is prominent and has mobile home parks like the state of Florida does, um, it, it's a great niche market. A lot of these are priced really high as well. I mean, on average, I'd say the, the purchase price is probably uh, two to three million dollars in the state of Florida, uh, depending on size and so forth. So it can be very lucrative, but like anything, you gotta pick a niche market. You gotta pick a, a focused market to go in and, and be relentless in getting in front of any seller or buyer in whatever niche market you're gonna focus in on. So uh, mobile home parks, it's a really cool, really cool uh, asset to sell. And uh, if you guys have any questions pertaining to mobile home parks, or better yet, if you want me to do some more videos on my experiences dealing with mobile home parks, because we've done a lot of stuff, um, comment below and, and ask questions accordingly and I'll get some more videos coming out regarding mobile home park sales. So if you like mobile home parks, you like income producing uh, real estate, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want more information pertaining to uh, real estate, real estate sales, real estate investing, and I appreciate the support.